Welcome to SNN. Today is Thursday, November 7th, 2013. It's a sky day, which means star periods 1, 3, and 5. First things first, shout out to 8th graders Gabe McCovey and Noah Thompson for their video work on today's opening. It was created with a free app called Frameograph in SNN Flex class. Clever and well done. Yeah, it's really good, you guys. Thanks. Very good. If you missed it, did you know you can always watch SNN on YouTube? And also on Google Plus. I figured out how to do that this week. Fancy. Yeah, Google Plus, <laughs> SNN. Skyridge Network News is on Google Plus as well. Uploads available usually by 10 a.m. Mm. daily. Thursday. Yes. Well, that means tomorrow is Friday. Yes, at last. If you are looking for something cool to do, go to CHS and see their performance of Midsummer Night's Dream. It's a steampunk version of the classic Shakespearean romantic comedy fantasy. What does that mean, steampunk? It's sort of a meddling 19th century's British Victorian era or American Wild West adds some post-apocalyptic future, throw in some steampunk power along with the helping of fantasy, and you have steampunk. <gasps> Take a breath there, Leah. <laughs> yeah, it is all that and more. It's pretty awesome. Didn't um, your sister do something for um, a, another senior for their senior project? Yes, she did. It she was got really to cool. Go around in Portland in steampunk outfits. Yeah, <laughs> it was very cool. So anyway, steampunk Midsummer Night's Dream. Go see it. Go this Friday or Saturday. Or next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Evening performances are 7 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. Also, it's next Saturday afternoon, so there's a matinee from 2 to 4.15. Call 7829 with the answer. No, it's 78293 29. with the answer, but we haven't even asked the question yet. Oh, yeah. Okay, who's this? <laughs> okay, who's this? Aww. Give us a ring if you know. This was a sketch of it. It's, it's birthday. <laughs> we want to know the food brand also. Um, do we have Mr. Smith or Mr. Williams today? No. Okay. Sorry, not today. Maybe tomorrow. NaNoWriMo or National R Novel Writing Month is here and now all month long. NaNoWriMo is really about goals. Exactly. Some writers have a goal of writing every day for 20 minutes. That's kind of my goal, just to really like write. Yeah. Some want to get like more than 4,000 words. All right. Well, that's cool. Some want to just finish a chapter. It's a month of working toward your personal, individual goal. Whatever it is, work toward your own writing goals. Find that writing mountain and climb it. Go high, far. You can do it. Okay. It's, you, it's, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's about you. It's about your goals. Yes. Okay. okay Go it. to the website, nanowimo.org, and read it more about it. And good luck, because we know it's hard. Very difficult. Yeah, it's hard. There's an eighth grade volleyball game today against Cascade. It's a home game. so. Get out of the rain and watch our Skyhawks score. <laughs> That's today after school. Also after school today is Science Olympiad. Room 204. Be there and get in the science groove. Now this message from ASB. Listen up. Hi, I'm Will Schultz, your ASB president. And I'm Carrie Bolter, your ASB vice president. We are here to talk about sixth graders, specifically ones who are interested in joining ASB. If you would like to join, there will be applications available in the LMC and Mr. Strong's room, which is 201. These applications will be available by this Thursday, November 7th, and they are due Friday, November 15th, and they need to be turned in to Mr. Strong. We look forward to seeing all of your applications. Okay, so applications for um, ASB commissioners are available in Mr. Strawn's room or in the LMC. So get yours today. Do it. <laughs> it's National Bittersweet Chocolate with Almonds Day. Mm. Wouldn't it be delicious to put chocolate and chop up some almonds and like put it into a crescent roll? You mean and, like this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that one. That one actually had like peanut butter and chocolate chips. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. Amazing. Yeah, so good. <laughs> I, I was thinking about using those Pillberry Crescent Rolls and just like roll it up and... Oh, roll the ingredients Yeah, wouldn't inside. that be cool? I, how about Nutella? You could use Nutella too. And bananas. And bananas. That'd be mm. awesome. Well, that kind of brings us to our phone-in answer today. The Pillsbury Doughboy has a name. It's Poppin' Fresh. <laughs> it's Poppin' Fresh. And if it were checking out a book in the LMC, well, it would say its name, I'm fresh, Poppin' Fresh. You know, like James Bond. Bond. James Bond. 
Fresh, poppin' fresh, yeah, more, like more widely known as Doughboy, Pillsbury Doughboy, <laughs> is an advertising icon. The mascot of the Pillsbury Company has appeared in many of its commercials, their he, commercials. He made his first appearance on TV on this day in 1965. 1965. Most commercials conclude um, with a human finger poking the Doughboy's stomach. Bullying! Sounds, it does, really. <laughs> Harassment. Doughboy but, responds by rubbing his stomach and giggling, hoo-hoo! For he -he. Well, hoo-hoo! For our winner today, uh, I Isaiah, Isaiah and is Maddie and Emma from, in Mr. Condon's from room. Mr. Condon's room got it right. Okay, so a treat and fake dough <laughs> <laughs> heading your way today. Today's thought, never let the things you want make you forget the things you have. Thanks for watching and have a great Thursday. Follow the Sky Code and be safe. Be respectful and be responsible. This, this has been Ms. Pappas <laughs> and Alea. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready? Ready? Begin. Begin.